Have you ever felt like you are just constantly planning one event to the next event and you wonder why on earth are we doing this and are we actually accomplishing anything in our men's ministry with all of these events? Well, today on our Blueprint Leader Tips, we are going to look at how do we make the most out of the events that we're planning in our men's ministry. Men's events are always a key part of your men's ministry plan. Whether it's a men's breakfast that you're planning, a conference you're sending your men to, a seminar or a retreat, or any other type of event. In a world where men are so busy, the question is, how do we make the most out of the events that we're planning for the guys in our church? Nobody would disagree that today we live in an event-based culture. Our lives move around our schedules and the events that we place on those schedules, and everybody is busy. It feels like some days we might be the busiest society that has ever lived. Have you ever thought of the fact that you and I can stay up late, at least in part, because of the invention of electricity, which is only a little over 100 years old? When it comes to your men's events, the first thing that we need to do is to assume that the only connection that the majority of the men in your church will have to your men's ministry are the events that you plan. Think about it this way. The implications of that principle are huge. If that's all a man is going to do, then you need to ask yourself, how are we going to maximize each opportunity that you gather your men together? Here's the first thing to consider. What is the ultimate goal of your men's ministry? You see, your events will only be maximized if you know what exactly is driving your ministry efforts. For example, if your primary goal is just to get men to build friendship and to have fellowship with each other, well, that means you're going to plan your men's ministry events in a certain way. They'll have a different focus and tone than if your goal is to help men grow as disciples of Jesus. Men's fellowship events tend to be focused on forging those friendships. The gospel and the mission of Jesus tend to be secondary in those moments. Just as long as men are building friendships, we assume that discipleship will happen after that. Discipleship-focused ministry is geared first towards helping men to become more like Jesus. Helping men to observe all that Jesus has commanded, as he says to us in the Great Commission. Answering the question of your ultimate goal in your men's ministry is absolutely paramount for the success of every event that you plan. With the purpose of your men's ministry defined, your events are then no longer isolated groups of events or activities that you're just planning and trying to fill a calendar in a year. You're not just trying to occupy the men, but you're being very intentional and purposeful in what you're doing. The second thing is, what is the purpose of the event? In the Blueprint Leader Training, that we teach the principle that every event you put together has to be intentional. Far too often we plan an event simply because we just want to figure out something and some way to gather men together. But to only do an event for the sake of having another event is really a waste of time for you as the organizer and also a waste of time for the guys who are attending. You need to ask this question. What is the single purpose that this event will accomplish in the process of making disciples of Jesus Christ in my church? If you're not familiar with our blueprint leadership framework for the discipleship of men in the church, then I want to encourage you just to check out our website at promisekeepers.ca slash blueprint and you can get more information there about our training. Your events are tools in the toolbox, amongst other tools that will help you to achieve the ministry goal that you have. This is the proper view of every event that you plan. This perspective will help you think objectively about your events and how to make the most of them. As the saying goes by the famous philosopher Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland, if you know where you are going, it doesn't matter which way you go. The third thing that we need to remember is this. How are you going to follow up the event? If you want to maximize every event that you plan, you need to give every man next steps after the event. This is what's going to solidify the event and turn it just from a moment to a way of life. Here's some ideas for you. 
Uh, maybe you go to guys and say, here's the date of our next event and what we're doing. And then you challenge them to think now about who they're going to bring with them to that next event. Or maybe you say to guys, here's a small group where we're going to go deeper into what we've talked about today at this event. There's a sign-up sheet going around right now for you to sign up and, and be a part of one of these small groups. Or maybe you say to guys, here's a work project that we're going to do in response to what we talked about today at this event. Fill out the sign-up sheet and be a part of this work project. Maybe you say to them, here are some resources for you as a man. Sign up to keep receiving these tools to help you out. You can check out our website at promisekeepers.ca for tools that we've developed for the men in your church, including a podcast, daily devotional, and a magazine. To wrap it up, this is what you need to do to make the most out of the events that you are planning for your men's ministry. You need to know what the purpose is of your men's ministry. That's going to help you to determine how many events and, and how often you should plan those events. And it will also help you set the goal for what each activity is going to accomplish to help you achieve the overall goal of your men's ministry. Make sure you have follow-up for your men. Then stick to your plan. Be intentional with your events. Repeat the process year over year and you will see God shaping men as disciples of Jesus.